Every year on Good Friday, the faithful observe the Stations of the Cross in prayerful homage to Jesus' journey to Mount Calvary. It is a solemn procession where practitioners of the faith reflect upon and remember the Passion of Christ. The pilgrimage is observed at multiple locations across the country, and the Mount St. Benedict Abbey is one such location. Also known as the Abbey of Our Lady of Exile, the monastery was founded by three Benedictine monks in 1912 and sits on 240 acres of estate at 4,300 feet above sea level. The church-owned property is also home to a drug rehabilitation center, yogurt factory, a guest house, and more. Droves frequent the abbey, some for matters of faith, some for sightseeing, and even those who make it their go-to for outdoor exercise. One thing stands true, visitors attest to the perpetual serenity the atmosphere exudes, and the view, even at this point, is captivating. The abbey is nestled amidst the evergreen forest, less than midway up the mount. Beyond it, there is much to see, but not without challenges to be overcome. Make your way around the property and past St. Benet's Hall, you will approach this abandoned building with an obvious trail on the left. This leg of the journey may mislead you to believe that it is easy. However, it is a good lesson proving how quickly things can change. The only way to go now is up. At this juncture, a treat. A fire tower strategically placed on the hillside presents the opportunity for a view not many get to see. Undoubtedly, it is not a chance one can easily forego, so proceed to the top, but with caution. If you happen to be afraid of heights, this is not where I would recommend one to face that fear. Phobias aside, the panoramic view offered at the summit of this tower is one that no price tag could be fit. Back on the ground, the journey is not yet half complete, and so the real climb begins. Ahead, many rows of pine trees line the trail, akin to platoons of soldiers at the ready and unmoved, while much of the ground is blanketed by dried pine needles that perfume the air with an incense-like aroma. The view to the left, a deep canyon, covered so densely with vegetation that the ground is invisible, and to the right, plentiful pines whose tops are at neck-breaking heights. Beyond them, a sight even birds would envy. A look ahead again puts into view the unrelenting incline with scarcely a glimpse of the summit, ever so close. At last, one can breathe a sigh of relief as you arrive at this plateau and with it a visual reward for one's Herculean efforts. Before you, the expanse of the Maracas Valley from a vantage point reserved for the wayfarer. To the right, in the distance, a familiar flag flutters in the wind and the reassurance that your goal is just within reach. Now, having crossed the finish line, a photo op is a must. Finally, a glance up this tree reveals a crucifix, and with it a reminder that despite how arduous a journey may be, the purpose and reward lie in seeing it through until it is finished. Music